Hello and welcome to another episode of the Metal Evangelist. Got another thrash review video for you. Four bands that you should definitely check out. And we're going to start it off today with Death Blow, Prognosis Negative. These guys are from Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a self-released album in 2014. Here's the back. You can see the guys there. Photos of them. This is some really good thrash metal, especially from a self-produced standpoint. You've got a good mix of fast thrash riffs, but they also slow it down with some melodic parts as well. It's good soloing on here. Um, sort of reminds me of Forbidden. Here's the inside of the booklet. It's just your standard lyrics. There it goes. I got it. I caught it. Don't worry. More lyrics. Thanks list. Pretty standard. Here's the actual CD itself. Some of the cover art on there. In the back shows the songs. You got ten of them. Some cool artwork there. What else to say about these? Good production. Um, their CD is available on their Bandcamp page for about $8. It says it's limited. It didn't say how many pieces it's limited to, but um, it's worth your time to check it out, at least on their Bandcamp if you don't buy it. Next up, X Aloud. This band is from Russia. Specifically, oh, how do you say this? Nichne Norgorod, Russia. About uh, 260 miles east of Moscow and uh, these guys were kind enough to sign the booklet for me pretty cool stuff this one's a little little more neat with uh, lyrics and there's some artwork interspersed in there it's the back of the booklet kind of looking up from a hole um, the disc itself they uh, they wrote on there too, signed it a little bit. Good stuff. This one's got 11 tracks. This band, I don't know how they did it, but from a music standpoint, minus the vocals, they sound exactly like Megadeth. They, they've got the guitar tone down pat, exactly how it would sound on their later albums. And trust me, they sound a lot better because they have some really good riffs. Um, there's fast songs, but then there's mid-paced, kind of rockin' sounding riffs. They're sort of like simple, but they're flawlessly executed. Sound like they'd be from the mid-80s. Really, really good album. I totally just, you should check this stuff out. And again, these guys are from Russia. I messaged them on Facebook, and they sent me a an email address to send my PayPal money to and that's how I got it. It took like a month but it's totally worth it. Um, what else can we say? Yeah, great vocals. Just, the riffs are just catchy as hell. You will, if you're into thrash, especially Megadeth, you know the last couple Megadeth albums have sucked? This is what they should sound like. So, check these guys out. Um, third on the list, an American band from New Jersey called Condition Critical. Operational Hazard is the name of their CD. Their artwork was done by the famous Ed Repka. There's the guys on the back. And again, lyrics on the inside. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Thanks list and credits. Um, here's the disc. These guys are more of a brutal thrash. Sort of like Demolition Hammer they've been compared to quite a bit. This came out in 2013 on a label called Burned by God Records, and this is their only release. You can uh, look look up the Burned by God shop online to find this CD. They've got a pretty good package deal where you get this, their demo, a shirt, a patch, and some stickers for only 30 bucks. Um, what else to say about Condition Critical? Just really fast, brutal production on this one. Um, you've got the growly, sort of raspy vocals, lots of gang shouts if you're into that, a la violence. And um, 
yeah, I mean, it's a really good album. I find myself liking just about every song on it. And um, finally, my favorite of the group from Memphis, Tennessee, Shards of Humanity. Their debut album is called Fractured Frequencies. There's the back of the booklet. And inside, you've got thanks lists and lyrics. Pretty standard stuff. Um, over here is the disc. Got the logo and some other artwork. Inside, that's where you find your fuzzy band picture. You can't see it because of the glare. Sorry about that. And on the back, of course, the songs are seven songs. Can't see that because of the glare either. There they are. This one's on Unspeakable Axe Records, in case I didn't mention that before. A subsidiary of Dark Descent. And with this one, you get a Death Thrash album, sort of along the lines of mid period death. I hear some leprosy influences, even some individual thought pattern style riffs. Um, it's a good mix of fast stuff, but then they also can slow it down and it almost gets doomy in the riffs. Um, there's a lot of progressive elements, some guitar flourishes here and there. The only little flaw I find is that sometimes those flourishes are low in the mix. Same thing with the vocals. They've got a good raspy vocal. It's not really straight up death metal. It's more death thrash kind of in between. But it's sort of in the background. I'd say the rhythm guitars really cut through everything, but that shouldn't be a, a detriment to the listen because it's really a good listen. I find myself listening to this one over and over again. So this came out in 2014, again on Unspeakable Axe Records, uh, Shards of Humanity, really good album. You can get this from the Unspeakable Axe Records shop. So that's the four albums for this thrash review, uh, all worth your time. I'd like to let you know that The Metal Evangelist also is a radio show that airs Wednesday nights on xtransmissionfm.com on the internet. And also check out my Instagram feed where you can hear samples of all three of these bands. I'm sorry, four. We're doing this in one take, no edits, so all the mistakes stay in. Stay heavy, and we'll see you next time.